We've got a 2006 Mercury Optimax working on, working on here. I know it means I'm a boat mechanic. All right guys, so I had a situation where I was not getting oil up to my reservoir race. It's, I don't know if you can see it right there, kind of low right at the moment, but I had to figure out and troubleshoot how to exactly do that. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I did to find my issue uh, and a few different solutions to a couple different types of problems that you could have. Uh, so number one, we're gonna start at the main reservoir tank. This is the first part that you wanna start with. Your main reservoir tank got two caps on it. You wanna make sure you don't have any air leaks. So in order to test that, once you guys crank the motor on, this tube right here, not the, not the blue line one, but this tube right here will run back all the way through the line and come back over here. Where's she at? Right there. That'll come back through and run, but that line will run right back here, right into your crank. And that creates pressure, right? That pressurizes this tank. There's two ways you could check that. Uh, number one, crank your engine on, and you could pull this hose off of this. And the second, let's say if you feel, you know, valid air pressure coming out of this hose, you can hook this hose back up, let it run for, you know, say a minute or two. Then as you open up a cap, open up one of the caps, you'll hear uh, air pressure relief, right? That'll also help you check your tank. Another way to check your tank is to get a little cheapo spray bottle, right? Uh, Dawn dish soap, some water. Uh, I, I pulled this tank out, but squirt it down with some tank. Make, make sure none of your caps are leaking. Uh, some pot, someone on, online said they had a, a crack in one of the edges of the uh, tank itself. These tanks are very expensive, but that's number one, checking your tank, right? The main tank, make sure it has pressure. After you confirm pressure is, is happening, because I'll tell you what happened to me later. But after you confirm that you're getting some air pressure. Next, you could take off might be kind of rough, but take off the side with the uh, tubes going in it, right? Take off that cap. There's gonna be an intake tube on here. You wanna make sure you clean that out, man. There's no debris on the little screen down down below that picks up the oil itself. Make sure there's no screen, I mean, no, uh, no debris or gunk on that screen. Clean it off, use some brake cleaner, whatever the case may be, but make sure that thing is clear uh, so oil can actually pass through the line uh, and get back towards your motor. Uh, now this part where I messed up on, most boats have a little protective cover on it. My zipper was damaged, so I skipped the part of visually inspecting uh, where my hoses come out and continuing through. Because I, I seen where they continue, you know, there's my blue line one right there, that's for the oil. I seen where it continued through. What ended up happening to me was I skipped over removing this, removing the protective layer. Because uh, that's where my, my problem was at. Line blew out, I, I don't know how or why, uh, but line was absolutely destroyed. So I end up having to replace my line. But that's number two, making sure your line is intact, it's not blown out, messed up, whatever case may be. Uh, and another way, I, what I used to check that, uh, I set a little bike pump right there. So what I did was pop this blue line off and follow the blue line up until you right before your filter. I popped the blue line off of the oil filter. So all I did was hook up the bike pump, this piece right here on that blue line. And, I, and you, you're not, and I sent a little, a little bit of air through that, through that hose there. And again, I was not using a bunch of ton of pressure. I just gave it one, one little push just to make sure there was no crap in there. Uh, and be careful, it will spit out. <laughs> you know, whatever is in there is going to spit it out at a high rate of speed. <laughs> so I just made sure that line was clear of no, you know, no buildup or anything like that of crap. So I connected that back uh, to my oil filter. Again, I ran the engine. Thought I was building up pressure because I, I was getting a little bit of air coming through the coming through the hose, but it wasn't enough to pressurize and send the oil up. So since then I, I have fixed that, uh, as you can see. Uh, but let's get back to troubleshooting. After you confirm that your hose is in good shape, you're getting a clear passage through the hose. Uh, it gets down to the oil filter. Uh, in the book, I think they said change this once every I think hundred hours or something like that. Well, I say in the book, online. Online said changes once every 100 hours. I've seen videos where guys said that they got the uh, relief valve. It was actually clogged up as well. So if you're gonna change out one of them, just change out both at the same time. Uh, I think this one was like $40. And I think it was off boats.net. Boats uh, and this one was literally, I think like, oh Lord, like five, six, seven dollars. So I know it was a lot cheaper than this one was like 40 something, 43 I think, something like that. So got clear, pa got pressure up in the tank, got clear passage, new filter, new uh, relief valve, uh, and then this goes directly into the reservoir, right? You wanna also make sure, you know, your cap's not over tight or anything like that, uh, cause you could create a crack, which you could lose pressure, possibly start leaking out of here. Uh, then you mess around, gotta change the whole, the whole gamut. And that was, that was the way that, that, the process that I went through to troubleshoot uh, this scenario, uh, to find my problem, fix my problem. I'm about to crank it up right now. I got the hose out. 
uh, I know the engine works, but we want to make sure we get pressure and also uh, get oil up to the reservoir. But I'm quite confident in the uh, repair. So that's it for me, man. I appreciate you guys tuning in, man. That's how I went through troubleshooting, you know, from step to step to step, uh, getting this issue solved. I hope to help somebody out, man. Please share the video with a friend who might be looking at the same situation. Try to keep it straightforward with the simplest things. Thank you guys again. You guys take care. Give this video a like if you liked it and it helped you out. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.